So, anyways, welcome back to more Let's Play Kingdom. Why did my voice do that? Alright, um, we're back. Um, we're gonna exit the tent. I have no idea what the hell is going on. I'm... Lost? Heartless! Heartless. <laughs> Jinxor, you owe me a soda! <laughs> Alright, thunder. Alright, uh, let me get back into reality here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we... Cutscene. We saved the gorilla! Yay! And we got something for our gummy ship. Um, I'm gonna end up cutting between each one of these. Um, even though there, um, there's a couple apes we're supposed to save. After we save them, we're supposed to return here to the tent. Although I don't think that's mandatory, I'm gonna do it anyway. One of the apes is here in the bamboo thicket. If we finish all, all these heartless, we're able to um, save the world! If anything, this is the first sight we've seen a heartless in the entire world. Uh, which is very actually better because you know I'm tired of fighting that stupid cheetah like five times already um, We're gonna end up having to climb all the way back to the treehouse again um, This recording is probably gonna be like five hours long, but it's okay. You guys watch me that long anyway, right guys? Right guys? We got a fire G for our gummy ship. Woo. All right. Um, even though I don't customize my gummy ship anyway I feel like this for completion reasons um, even though I'm not a completionist at all, trust me, I think the only game I've ever 100% completed is like Mario games, that's really it. Either way, speaking of that, BAM, BAM, and oh. Um, you might want to watch it because these Heartless are a bit more crafty than the ones we've seen so far. They time their attacks, they um, dodge very, very effectively, and they're actually kind of annoying. So, look at that, I'm trying, look at that, what the, they're not supposed to be smarter than I am, I am a boy. And the fact that I have to use a potion on a few Heartless just makes me sad on the inside. Bam, bam, and there we go. We rescued another gorilla. Oh, do they? Oh, they all look the same. Am I racist for that? Um. Anyway, we're gonna end up cutting ahead to when I get back to the top where I can save another gorilla. See you guys in a bitch. Okay, and we are back. And there's are more of these monkey heartless. Bam! I, I don't really know the 100%, 100%. The names of the heartless in the game, except for like the shadows, because you know they're so, they're named the shadows, and they look like shadows. <laughs> um. Anyway, as I'm beating up on these heartless, I think I'll tell you guys a little story about what's going on in my life. Uh, recently, I had had it. Wait, actually, I'm gonna do this first because I might end up cutting ahead. And I don't want to start a story. Um. As I'm about to save another gorilla. Yep, I knew it. And we get a thing. Nice. All right, we are back at the camp. Oh, these guys are very, very rare. Um, you supposed to use a magic spell depending on the pose they're using, and apparently it was not ice. You know what? Fuck you then. Die, die, die. Um, he would give us some kind of rare mineral or something if you follow the position he's doing. Um, let's talk to Jane. Let's see if she has anything to tell us. Because I'm so lost. I do hope Mr. Clayton is safe. I hope he's dead. Because my recording says 23 minutes. And I've been... Oh, cutscene! Thank God! That cutscene means progression. You know how happy that makes me? That makes me so happy. <sighs> but I feel like we're um, fight facing a boss right now. But, oh, I don't have enough... AP, but I can equip Goofy with Berserk, and I can equip Donald with Charge. Alright. If anything, I might change around my items, give myself a little something-something, a little award for my own hard efforts. Uh, Magic Potion, Mega Potion. Um, I'll give Donald the Mega either, because he specializes in magic, and he probably needs it way more than I do. You know, I kind of use magic a lot for um, long-distance attacks. Um, besides that, it's not really important to me. I remember what I said last episode where we were gonna- Donald, you moron! Why would you use that now? Oh. Then again, my eight, my MP- Oh, you dumbass! Alright, either way, my MP was kind of low, so I can kind of see why he would do that. Either way, now this guy's a lot more difficult, but he gives out a lot more um, experience when you kill him. If I remember, I think it's 150. I'm not sure, but I will find out anyway. That's a lot more than 15 usually. But since he's kind of being a pain in the ass, I probably should use magic against him. But I'm trying to conserve that because we have, uh, my grandmother is yelling at the door. Yeah! 
Damn it, Grandma, go away. <laughs> it's always happening when I'm recording. I hate interruptions. It's like the bane of my existence. I'm gonna die. Okay. Um, fire. Let me move. All right, let me just keep spamming fire. Yeah. All right, Donald grew level and Goofy grew level. Very cool. Well, Jane looks terrified. We should go back to the tent immediately and help her before the Heartless end up taking her heart and Turk's heart. Ah, <sighs> I love that movie. Um, oh, here goes another one of these fungus guys. All right, freeze didn't work, so I'm gonna try thunder. thunder. Nope, it didn't work either. Okay, I'm not sure what pulls that. It looks like he was scared. Maybe darkness? I don't fucking know. Anyway, we're back here at the tent. Hey, where's Jane? What's wrong, Darzan? <laughs> Something coming, Jane. Danger, Jane. Near, near treehouse. We gotta go back to the fucking treehouse. Sounds like trouble. Let's go. We have to go back to the treehouse. Why do we have to go back to the treehouse? I hate the treehouse. That's the worst thing ever. Why do we have to go back to the treehouse? <laughs> treehouse. 